Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Scorpio. Now you can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And Scorpio, this message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece, take what it does maybe and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. All right, as we get into the Leo season, Scorpio. Whew. <laughs> we didn't forget about you because some of you guys I could hear as I was meditating down here and it was almost like, what about me? <laughs> you went to Gemini, what about me? But look at this, as I shuffle and look, surprise. The universe has a surprise for you. And I'm hearing God will rescue you because some of you guys might've been thinking, well, has God forsaken me? Has he forgot about me? Man, I feel neglected. I'm hearing like that. And I'm hearing just these challenges. It's almost like you've been in this period of wondering where is God? Put in the comments if this is you. But I'm hearing you the best. Baby, put that in the comment. I am the best. And there's something to do with your... This is going to be for resonate with a few of you guys. It has to do with forgiveness. But also this time that you're cherish, you should be cherishing with God. But some of you guys are still like wondering. You're thinking, is God coming for me? Is God gonna, did God leave me, the universe? But God will rescue you. Why? Because he loves you, baby. Put in the comments, because he loves me. And this is a surprise that's coming in. After this decision, look, decision, decision of whatever you have that has to do with you and your security. And look, it has to do with self-motivation or self-love, self-worth. It's almost like the, the universe wants you to love yourself completely. And for a lot of you guys, it says security. It says deposit for self-care, 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 self-care. It says time, space, energy, personal power, and love. Security, it's like the universe is telling you, yes, I have your back, two, two, two on the clock when I said that. And God is about to re rescue you. But there's something that you have to focus on. There's something that you have to make a priority. And I'm hearing God wanted you or wants you to take care of yourself first. After him, of course, is what I'm hearing. And that is on your list, your priority list. <sighs> because some of you guys keep, it's like you keep caring about everyone else and leaving yourself last on the list. Stop that shit is what the universe is saying. Stop that and change. See, the universe is saying change because a lot of you guys are neglecting your joy, your happiness, just to see other people happy. And no, you know, it's the theory like of when you're in a plane and it's about to go down and the air things come down. No, put the mask on first. Patiently, caringly, loving. Yeah, at the corner of your eye, they're all ah, going crazy, you know. But grab that thing and breathe in, have that self-love. And if you're going through this without being on a plane and you, you know, everything's falling apart. It's an illusion that the, <laughs> that the devil will create is what I'm hearing. But the universe wants you to have this patience. Look at this energy that I'm going through. It's just patient, this love. It's like almost taking care of yourself first so you can help others. So if they're going crazy, let them go crazy for a bit. Focus on yourself. Look at my dog. It's almost like you're about to put your back against, you know, towards, you're gonna turn your back for, for the first time I'm here. You're gonna turn your back on everybody and you're gonna appreciate yourself first as you should. And because you love him and because you trust him, he is about to rescue you. And I said calmness. You saw my energy being calm. And it says right here, it says, a breakdown is often followed by a breakthrough. Remain calm. Isn't that what the universe said a little bit earlier? And I'm hearing palm, palms, <laughs> palm trees everywhere. So some of you guys may be going to the beach, but I'm hearing Psalms 91, 1416, 1416. 1460, 1416, 
nine. Some of you guys may be born on the 9th, the 14th, or the 16th. Otherwise, you guys are going to be meeting somebody, a Virgo, born on the 14th or 16th, or through those days. There's something very important. It's, this particular person is going to bring you calmness. But you thought you had been, <laughs> you thought God had forsaken you. No, I'm hearing no. He has been by your side through all your trials and tribulations. And look, look at this. As I shuffle these, this is where it landed. God loves you. Yes, he does. It says, let someone go with love and forgiveness. And forgiveness came out earlier in my, in my download. <laughs> when you forgive and let them go, it's going to be a success. Because some of you guys, you're like, fuck. I got to tell them a piece of my mind. No, you don't. Mm -mm. And look, I said Virgo earlier. <laughs> These cards don't lie. You're about to have success with the Virgo when it comes to love. Look, 222. It says, love when you bite your lips. So are you seducing somebody with you? Mm, mm, mm. Biting your lips up. Mm, but that's what it says. And it might be a Libra or somebody with Libra in the chart that bites their lips that's coming towards you. And I'm here, never give up. Never stop trusting the process. No matter how hard this situation may be. Remember, God wants you to put yourself first. These two. And look, no matter how hard this betrayal may be, forgive, let go. It says too much of a coward to take a leap of faith with you. And this is the betrayal. Holy shit, some of, some of you guys are dealing with somebody. They know that you the best that, you, that they ever had, but they're so chicken shit. And the betrayals, they're too much a coward to take a leap of faith with you. This particular person might be somebody I'm hearing that is that cares too much of what their family may think of you. Scorpio. Who the fuck are you dealing with? Excuse my language. I'm here to make sure you're living for you and your vibration will handle the rest. What does that mean? That when you living for yourself, that you're living in this self-love energy vibration you will attract your true love the correct person see right now you're juggling and you're going through your true trials and tribulations is what i'm hearing but a lot of you guys scorpio you're going through these trials and tribulations and you know that god has got your back that god will catch you and you're facing these trials and tribulations with grace look one at a time as you take one step. And look, you may feel like you're going to fall, but the universe has got your back. It shines the light. Oh, no, no, no. Put your foot right here. You may be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay. And this is you. I'm hearing. This is you. This is you and your coins right here. And the bear, look, you're taking care of yourself. And your coins. Galatians 5.13. And I'm hearing freedom. And how are you going to get that freedom? I'm hearing. By building habits. That you need to. <laughs> it's like you're going to start to build different habits. You're going to change the game in your life. And it's almost like the universe is pushing you. To change. Because you have a lot invested in you. And the universe is wanting you to take one talent at a time, one thing at a time. It's like, look, you're taking your time. But when you start to exercise your gifts that you've been putting away, that's when freedom begins to flow. Look, the universe has been asking you. Change is needed. So you're about to put more energy and things that you love. 
things that you have been neglecting yourself. I'm hearing God will continue to bless you and as long as you honor your divine purpose. Look at the bottom of the deck. Your divine purpose. Y'all heard that? Ooh, somebody's going to be crying when you're on top right here. You're being asked to exercise your divine gifts and purpose. These two cards look. This is you starting out with your gifts. The universe is telling you with you being in this page of wands, going after your, pursuing your dreams, going after what you want, it's gonna lead you to this, the king of pentacles. This is the energy you're beginning. Yes, indeed. And Scorpio. Let's see, what do we have in love? Scorpio wants to know about love. Some of y'all left that love that was too much of a coward. You're about to run into somebody way different. It's this right here, someone. Not only are you gonna have love, but you're gonna have a place, a home. For some of you guys that are together, your relationship's about to change. You're about to acquire love, happiness, and this big old place right here. It's almost like your home is going to be filled with love. And a lot of you guys, I'm hearing, as soon as you're open to receive love, your temple, this is a temple, your shell, your temple, you start to nourish it and you stop neglecting it. Look, you're going to have love. You're going to have joy. You're going to have happiness. That's what I keep hearing. And look, this card keeps falling out. You have the Queen of Cups. You have money and love coming towards your way. But this kept falling out, the Queen of Swords. What does this mean? And what am I hearing? Is that you're going to have your discernment. You're going to use your intuition on what you want in your life now. You're going to do it in a certain way because you have the peacock here. You're going to do it in this confident strength powerful way that a lot of people are going to look at you very sexy or handsome however it may resonate with you that's what i keep hearing and when you embody this energy of love and confidence you start to drop these burdens and these burdens that were placed upon you by others could be a past lover that put a lot of burdens that affected your you know, brought out your insecurities, affected your confidence, or it could have been, I'm hearing even a parental figure that told you you couldn't do it. And what does that mean? Something that you truly love to do. They kept telling you, you could not do that. They wanted you to follow a program that they had from their families. Oh, you got to be this. You got to be a mechanic. You got to be a, uh, whatever it may be. But look, this parental figure, no. Mm -mm. The universe wants you to use your gifts. See, the universe created you with a special talent. And for some of you guys, a lot. You have a lot invested in this talent, but it's hidden. And Scorpio, hit the like button. Share, subscribe if this is you. Comment. If you have many talents that you're hiding behind here, because these talents, God, the universe created them for you to prosper. You have a guidance right here. Look at this, the nine of pentacles. And you hold this talent so close to your chest. The universe wants you to release it. See, you're holding on to it with the bird right there. Some of you guys, <laughs> you don't want to see because look, you're looking down at the bird, but you need to have that confidence that it is built in you. Look, as I cut the deck, go after what your heart desires. Look, you've gained wisdom. The tree of life, baby, look, you were destined to shine is what I'm hearing. 
I'm here in Romans 8, 31. Tell me y'all need to read that. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. I'm hearing, I am blessed. Put it in the comments, I am blessed. I am wealth. Okay, let's see, look at this. And love, somebody wants to come in with the offer of love. This particular person could be also a water sign or they could be a rising water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. This particular person is drowning in love for you. They're admiring you. Yes, there may be a little toxic energy. This could be a Capricorn that you may be dealing with, with water in their chart, or just somebody that, <laughs> that just has this obsessive love. You cause a lot of butterflies to them, but there's something toxic about that. Either they're not coming straight towards you, and I say straight towards you because this is upside down, the chariot. They're not willing to commit. And they don't have the balls or the strength to come towards you. What the hell? Some of you, they want to make this offer. But look, look at all these cards upside down. They don't know how to come towards you. They don't know how to commit. They don't have the strength. They're a coward. Of, some of you guys are dealing with somebody that is just not confident. They have work to do. Maybe they have inner child. Let's see. Do they have work to do? And as I cut it, look, the Virgo. Yes, they have a long ways to go. So maybe this particular person is not ready for it. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in their chart. And a lot of you guys, the reason this particular person is intimidated and coming towards you is because they see how powerful you have become, how confident you've become. And you just look. You have this glow of the aura that you you walk in the room and it's like you're shining. But it wasn't easy, Scorpio. And this particular person doesn't realize you had to go through different phases, different levels. You and God, the universe. <sighs> level one, level two. And see, for a lot of you guys, if this is you that is intimidated and in stepping out to the world again, the universe is asking you, Get out your comfort zone. Amonos, keep moving forward. You, you're destined to shine. But you got to get out of, out of that comfort zone. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Look at this. Boom, boom, stick. You're on fire. Once you know and you take your power back, a lot of you guys will be taking your power back. As soon as you forgive yourself, because some of you guys are still holding on to up. Look, let's see, what do we have? Some of you guys are still holding on to something that happened in the past. And you want to go towards it. And you don't understand. But the universe is telling you to let go with passion. Let it go. Let those burdens go. They're no longer yours. Stand in your truth. Look at this. The king and queen of swords came out. And stop dwelling on the past. For some of you guys, this person from your past is dwelling on you. They have all these options, but they want you. Oh, now they want you? But they see you hard work and moving forward, building with the universe, co-creating. See, the universe, for a lot of you guys, you already left this person in the past. And what's really getting to this past person in the past is all they can think is about you and how you used to put it down is what I'm hearing. If it's regarding sex or love. For a lot of you guys, this particular person took from you and took a lot and they see you working hard and still acquiring more blessings. This is you focus on your purpose and not love. Ooh, some of you guys are putting love on the backward. Some of you guys are just putting all your love into God, the universe, and it's gonna push you into a stable energy where you're just going to be vibrating <laughs> and attracting what you want. Scorpio says, love in spite of it all. It says, before this audacity ever began, there was you, your best friends, and wide eye curiosity among you about who would be the first to leap. 
the first to forget, the first to kiss, the first to tell, the first to fall, the first to get back up, and the first to remember that it all began with a dare to love in spite of it all. Is that you? Hmm. P.S. Remember that glint in your eyes, all three of them. Look at this. In spite of it all, oh, baby, you already know that you're the best, no matter what. And look, you were born with that it quality. And it says right here, they want me to read it. It says, do you want to know what's really beautiful? Confidence. And didn't we talk about confidence? Oh my God, these cards don't lie. It says, do you want to know what's really powerful? Persistence. Do you want to know what's really sexy? Please, I know about sexy, says the universe. Not needing to be needed. If you... And if you still, they don't notice your good looks, your strength, and your sashes. Could you feel more sorry for them? Just for the particular person that couldn't see your shine. And they showed me this because this particular person knows you was the shit. They know you was everything. Where is that card? Hold on. They want me to show you. Hold on. This one. The bottom of the deck. Your persistence. And it says right here, you need... Uh, your persistence to move forward. You don't need nobody. This is you focus on your purpose. You trusting in God, the universe. See, you've already made one coin. You're making this one. You're making that one. That's what I heard. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. Let's see, Scorpio. Comment if this is you. You are rich, huh? Scorpio, you're about to be rich. I don't know what you're working on, but you're about to be rich. Put in the comments, I am rich. And it says, exalt that bullshit. Exalt that bullshit. You don't need no one but God. And it says right here, today practice the ancient meditation technique of inhaling the good shit and exhaling the bullshit. Think of good shit like puppies and pandas and pineapple, or think of things that don't start with the letter P. Breathe that in like it's sparkling. Exhaust bullshit stuff like anxiety, self-doubt, and resentment. resentment. Let it leave your body like dust being cleared out. It works. At the very least, you'll have an idea about what stuff you like and what stuff to dump on your therapist. Wow. Somebody needed to hear that. So that's what I got for you, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and claim this energy if this is you. And I'm hearing like this, put it in the comments. You were born with that it quality. You are the shit, baby. Put it in the comments. I am the shit. Infinite Tarot 888.